So you've just installed Blue Text. Now you, what you want to do is after you log in, you're going to click on Manage, and you're going to see here a red Update button. This is the very first thing that you want to do. Click on Update Available, and then click on Update. This might take a couple minutes. What I always like to do is I like to log out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over, click on Log Out, and then log back in, because sometimes there might be an additional update that is just sitting there to be done. Then I'll jump back over to the admin. And we'll see here that it's not asking us to update again, so we're good to go. Uh, next thing you want to do now is you want to jump into your settings. And first thing we want uh, to do is our set our SMS append text. Now we did that in the setup, but we can determine if all of our clients should share the same append text. So they're in compliance uh, with regulations in your country. Um, if you want to make it so they cannot edit this SMS append text, just click on the checkbox here and click on update. And this way all your clients will inherit your stop message, but they must have the word stop and instructions on how to do it. <clears throat> Next we want to jump over into time zones. You want to take care of your time zone settings. Now, depending on your server time, for example, my current time is in Chicago time, which is Central Standard Time, and this is on the server. Now, I might be in Eastern Time, so with that said, I'm going to want to do Central Time as zero. You always want to set your server time as the zero time point, and then do the increments for each time zone going forward and backwards, east or west of you, uh, based on that. So, Eastern is plus one, and then Atlantic. Uh, depending on your country, you only might want to do the USA ones. Uh, or the Canada ones, or if you're in Australia, you just want to make sure that this is con congruent to uh, how many hours ahead of your server time. So if you're in Australia and you're using a server inside Chicago Central Standard Time, um, you want to make sure that your hours are correct here from that time. So you might need to do a little calculations and you might want to look it up on Google on uh, the time difference from Chicago to uh, the time zone Western Australia. So once you're done making your settings, click on Save, and it automatically saves. You want to make sure you want to cover all the countries, um, time zones that you're going to be servicing. So you make sure if you're in Australia, you want to do all three of these. If you're in Canada, United States, you want to do everything that says USA and Canada. Next, you want to jump over to your settings here. You just want to make sure that the general settings are correct. Um, you want to set your support email address here. This is what customers, the email customers will contact uh, when there is an issue. And then uh, put in your first name and last name, and then obviously your company name. Then you want to jump over to payment packages. You want to set up at least one default package, and this is for your admin use. So let's click on the plus button here. And I'm just going to call this the admin package. And there's going to be more intensive training on other videos uh, for payment packages, but you this is just all about setup of the initial setup of Woot Text system so you can start using it right away as an admin. And you can name your packages whatever you want. I'm going to put in the price, price description, admin access. And then uh, we'll get into separate credits for incoming and outgoing and training for the packages but uh, we want to determine our pricing here. Uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and jump to the very bottom here. Click on status and is published. Um, you don't need any of the other stuff because this is just you going to be using this particular account. Um, go ahead and assign yourself uh, this package some credits. So this long code credits are considered uh, Twilio phone numbers. I'm just going to put in 10. Um, keyword credits. This is for if you're going to be using short code. So I'm going to go ahead because I'm going to be doing that later in another video. So I'm just going to do 20 keywords. And we want to make sure as an admin we want to have access to every single aspect and feature of the system. So we'll just check everything off. And this top part here is for package tools 
and this appears when you click on this and I'll show you that here in a second and then we want to have a mobile and then it's what it is is the same features but in a mobile version that your clients will access or you can access as an admin click on save now that package is saved jump up to credits now and we want to make sure that we add credits into our account here so um, let me go up to client accounts first I'm going to click on edit here and then I want to make sure that I assign a package to myself so I'm going to click on admin package click on save changes actually note before I do that I want to select my package date because what happens is if a client under package is not in between two dates here which is the start and the end date for the package the SMS will stop working so you want to make sure you want to set this especially as the admin way in the future so you don't have any problems and I'll just choose this date here and I'll click on save changes now we're good now you see here in red it says no number assigned next thing we want to do is we want to assign a number so you want to jump up to numbers now and we should be able to go to our numbers click on existing go to our admin account and then choose a the number that we want so um, because I was doing a demo I didn't actually pick up the number when I was showing the installation so I'm gonna actually purchase a number now so this is in the event that the number doesn't appear inside of this uh, area here inside the number section so I'm gonna pick my phone number now and I am in Michigan and I'm gonna choose my area code and I'm gonna pick the number that I want for my admin I'm gonna pick something like this click on buy now it adds it into the system. Any number transferred over from the admin inside Twilio is automatically be transferred into the admin inside of the number section. So now we have a phone number attached to the admin. We can jump over now and into the credits now and go ahead and add some SMS credits to the admin. And now we're added those credits. Jump up to the WooText uh, client section now. This is what your clients see, but as an admin, you also have access to do this yourself in case you want to manage SMS campaigns from the admin side. So let's just test everything to make sure everything's working. I'm going to go to keyword here. I'm going to create a new campaign. In the title, test campaign, and the keyword, tester. Click on save. now let's go ahead and describe our messages here and we have our keywords I'm gonna get into more details on how this all works we want to create a campaign message and then we want to create if the event that a customer texts in again they can be sent a different message and this is what we call the if member message it means they've already subscribed click on save and now that means you've completed this part of the section and for every campaign you definitely want to have a phone number and this is the number that we assigned to the admin click on update and now that's attached to the campaign click on save to save changes and now we want to get into the actual testing of the uh, the campaign itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to text in to this phone number this keyword and then I'll show you the results now to test if your SMS worked, what you can do is just refresh this campaign, click on the keywords, go to test campaign, and then there's a section here, and it's called my list, and it'll give you details on who subscribed and the status, which is a check mark means we're good to go. Um, we'll get into more details while all this other stuff works here, but I'm going to show you inside of our usage reports how the actual process went when sending an SMS first I texted in which is me here into the campaign phone number the word tester and then I got the response from the campaign phone number to my number which is the body here it says it works and then it applied our append text which we set up earlier so this completes the general setup and of the admin and getting started if you have any issues um, 
always refer back to the video because the video goes in step by step on how to get your system going sending uh, SMS and using campaigns.